uh, chair what's really a, an important strategic initiative here at the partnership. Uh, and I think most of us who are familiar with the document know that it's a, really a, an objective assessment of how we're doing as a region economically, uh, as well as a useful tool in helping us to identify areas where we uh, need to focus and, and uh, place our resources. Uh, this is, uh, we're in our sixth year, and this is the uh, 12th consecutive scorecard, 12th edition. Uh, one of the uh, elements that we added, uh, one of the indicators we added over the last couple of scorecards is uh, move the needle indicator. And simply put, that uh, quantifies the incremental uh, economic performance we would need to marginally move uh, our performance one position within the rankings within each category. So a summary of the key findings. First of all, we did maintain our fifth place position. However, uh, we improved in three of the six component categories. Uh, and more importantly, uh, our aggregate score improved by one point from 25 to 24. Uh, and that leaves us one point away from tying for fourth place and hence moving the needle. Uh, the region gained 15,500 jobs quarter to quarter between Q3 of 2010 and 2011. And, and that makes it the second straight report for which we've been able to report job gains, and also, more importantly, it's the single largest gain since the uh, summer of 2000 uh, scorecard five years ago. The uh, home price indicator uh, shows an increase, and, and that, we hope, optimistically is signaling uh, at least beginnings of a recovery in that segment. And then finally, as we look at the, the details that Dave's going to share, uh, there's a, because of the nature of today's economy, some of the, the findings of some of the uh, causes behind the data can tend to be mixed, and uh, I'll use an example of vehicle miles driven, which is within the uh, transportation uh, category. Uh, people are driving less miles. Part of that is timing because these measures were taken in 2010 when we were kind of in a trough and uh, our employ employment base was lower. Uh, but part of it also may be more adoption of mass transit. Part of it is likely uh, people adopting uh, more flexible work schedules and um, telecommuting uh, in the name of both work-life balance as well as to save uh, on fuel costs. So um, you'll see a number of those things as we move through the results. And with that, I'll turn it over to Dave to explain in detail. Thank you.